Oh, good, good evening, good afternoon, or wherever you are, good hello, video man. James here. I'm going to make this video and probably upload it because I'm getting, I did a upload a video earlier today addressing about the one guy who is a senator down there in Louisiana and how to, you know, basically his decisions on trying to threaten that black threatened the black militia was kind of off and how he was so wrong and how it wasn't too smart to threaten a black militia in the time of it before during the elections for his constituents. However, I don't address that so I'm going on to another topic. Lately there's a topic talking about um, the, the sports people on the sports world. One in particular, one of the two people that's come, come online is the basketball stars. One is Charles Barkley, former NBA player. The second one is Shaquille O'Neal. Okay, he, he, here's the deal. There was, there was a video months ago, this is back probably about a year or so ago, and Charles Barkley had to sit down and he was talking about race in America. And this one particular man that he was talking to was a white nationalist. And 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 he and I, I remember seeing this off a video of a YouTuber by the name of Jason. I believe Jason Black had it on his uh, documentary. And they basically was a uh, saying that what it. Richard Spencer, which is a, he's a white nationalist that he was, he's the kind of individual was in the, doing a Charlotte uprising down in 2017. Plus he, he, he was a Trump supporter. Now he's for Joe Biden. He switched parties. Here's it. Th so they sat down and they talk about America and, and saying, what is your idea of America? And, and Charles Barkley, and there was another gentleman there. Um, it was like two, I think it was two people and Richard Spencer. Richard Spencer basically said, we want America the way we originally was. We look out for white males, white females, and white children. But to him, his picture of mind, and we want everything to go back the way it was, where we were, ru we were rulers in every area and arena. And so Charles Barkley was was like what his perception of America is that we all equal, we all should be able to have things and we can live next door to what we want. And Richard Spencer didn't quite see it that way. And so he, he, he laid down, the man laid down the tell what it's really about. And even back then, you know, he still, Charles Barkley doesn't under, didn't seem to understand what the man was basically getting at. And I mean, and I'm seeing what he's basically, you know, what Richard Spencer is saying. He, want, he basically want to be separatist. But not only that they're the white separatists, they basically say we, we want to control all we control all the resources, which some people la label today white supremacy. But that's what this the white nationalist movement was basic, basically want because they feel like they're losing because they have to give up a sh part of them, a part of Americana to share with the other. And they don't want to give too much of that up. And Charles Barkley and his other individual thought it, you know, it was a riot, and you know, how could you think that? How could you say that? And he was, he was just being blunt. You know that he's, and just being straightforward. He said we, we're not saying that, but he did, it was just certain things he, he laid down the law. And so, it wasn't surprising what the verdict would. This thing with Breonna Taylor, this situation, what what he said about compared to George Floyd or Bar Audrey down in Georgia. 
because that's how he, he he says things like that, and he feels like he lives in a, a separate society other than other people. And and I, when people feel like they making good money, they live in good areas. Some of them feel like, and they feel like they have a certain clout, and they, and, and they're yes man, they usually feel entitled. And, and put they step, step, and you have a there's some black people are like that. They feel like they get to a certain level in life, whether their education and whether they they, they, they they influence or whatever, and they think that they end. And what they don't know is that you you'll be at the where you at. Yeah, you might be over a vast majority of black people who are not making as much money as you have. You might have been you know, live in a better neighborhood you have, but that's far as you're going to go, because there's another level that, with you with the peas of the pot, you got a third, and that white person got this much, and they got more than ten times more than you, and that and that's a fact. And Charles Barkley is not nearly as rich as a, a billionaire like like a Michael Jordan. He's I mean he got some money, but he ain't, he ain't rich like a I hope I went through. He's just he's just a face. You know, that's on T V. And just because he's so forespoken, but sometimes being forespoken is is using wisdom and not what this what to say when it comes to your own people. And uh it's really messed up. On the other hand, you know Shaquille O'Neal. You know he's in he's in a different category because you know you see him on commercials. You see Shaquille O'Neal in many products and many uh, things that with his face is you know every brand, every commercial brand, no matter if he's in the General commercial, the Papa John's commercial. There's a Lauren commercial. He's like about four or five commercial where Charles Barkley is not very commercialized. And then when they did commercialize, it was on a video that they had him put on a dress. So they had him dressed in drag. And this as far as commercial, he got exposed. So basically, they, they pimped him. They, they put him like a whore on the corner. And it's really sad and disgusting because everybody having two different opinions about that that case. They you know they the police try to drum up some information that the young lady was a was involved with some activity. And there was no proof but they claimed that they got some videotape. You got some people that ran with it. And but they didn't really do, here's the come to find out people will rush to judgment to come to find out that's what they had the police is police were t telling them now we 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 find out more and more things that the, the police lied on and that as far as what they and they had with secret co recordings is in transcript is coming out about what really happened that night in, in Louisville, Kentucky. Meanwhile they, they demonize us is a young lady and because of who she was associated with. Now the young man that I don't what was before whatever his lifestyle was, that's one thing. But I, but it's another thing, but she was with the young man that maybe that obviously he was a citizen. Obviously he didn't have a criminal record because he wouldn't been able to have got a permit if he had a record. He wouldn't have been able to have concealed in some weapons, so now they're trying to charge him with attempted murder, and because this thing is happening, and now it is a big ruckus down there in Louisville, Kentucky. Now everything is being uncovered, slowly but surely. But everybody jumped on the bandwagon, and even someone like a Candace Owens had to weigh in. And Candace Owens has said some things that pissed any a lot of people off. And I mean, she's. I mean, there's some people on conservative radio 
I mean, it, uh, I mean, she she's getting up to the most hated person I've ever seen. And I mean, she just saying she has no control over her her mouth, and she just hurts and she's daggers people who have already been wounded. She has no she has no filter. She has no common sense. Some things you don't need to keep running and throwing your opinion on things that you don't sit down and take full listen to both sides of the story instead of jumping on one. And the same thing was with Charles Barkley and for she Shaquille O'Neal. And when it seems like when you get a certain kind of people that feel like they get around a certain influence of people, they feel like they, they have what they call yes matters. But they don't understand just because you get to a certain level or a certain demographic of people, you just gonna go to a whole different level of racism. And then when you're like, oh, I can't believe that they that you know this person was used me for, for their own credentials. Because, yeah, they they don't let you know the people who are racist. It's not sometimes it's the direct ones. It's the indirect ones who's truly the racist. And, and it's funny that because even when going back to the story with Charles Barkley, I mean, basically the man was telling him and, and, it, oh, and he just, he wouldn't, he didn't quite listen. He didn't understand what he, where he was coming from. He said, no. He said, what about my child? What about my thing? It's not about your child. It's what he says. This is what, he, well, basically, there's a part of white America agree with Prince Spencer. It's something that they don't want to say, it, but they display it. But they really think the way that there's a part of white America is like that. And Charles Barkley and his individual didn't understand that. And I'm like, but he still pretend like he doesn't get it. And no matter how popular you are, how a face you know, where you at in life as an African American, no matter what your education level is, you still gonna go through a level of racism among the same people who you're trying to cover up with. They only gonna let you get go so far. And, and if you did, could you could you say you could, you do it on your own without their assistance? Because this is the this when it comes to certain things, it's their world. Most African Americans don't have the wealth as as ninety percent of white people in this country. They don't own the land and acres of land. They don't control the resources. They don't control the banks. They don't control the acres of land. They don't control the, the energy, the water, the power. I mean, I mean, I mean, they control all these things. They control the policing, the jury system, the judge system, all seven, eight phases. African Americans don't control all that. You just get a level in it. You just get you get a position, but they let you know we still got we still got the power. And even some people that, let's say, it, like this is, you know, we know about, everybody knows there's no secret about the Masons. But there were white Masons and there were black Masons. Guess who, have, guess who have the most power? The white Masons have all the power. The white Masons are in position. And they just give the little black Masons a little position. But you, they'll present you, but they'll let you know. But they control things. They control the wealth. They control the influence, the political structure. Just because you think that you're in it, you don't know. No, you don't get it. They control it. And they've been controlling it for what, close to what, what two or three hundred years? That's a fact. If you look at the history, you go on the History Channel and look about the Masons and them different groups like that. They control. Black people, you don't, black people don't control it. And even the ones that think they're celebrity, they still still over you. As long as you're in this country, they're still over you. And if, if you're wealthy, they're going to know about it. They got to know it. Then, you had, they had a certain level, they had to come at you. And it, and, it, it, and I wouldn't doubt it if they try to make you succumb to what they think. 
you only got so much freedom because they some of these people are, are children of the devil and the devil rules the principality of this air that's that's a fact and so they they are who they are they get influenced so they, they could be racist now what did people what is a racist is it says someone need to get this clarification a racist is a person that can control someone's destiny to control someone's physical where they live control their finances and their outcome and control almost to them and feel like they can disrupt everything around you and make your life a living hell racist people do that and unfortunately it's the certain people who are in position to do that in this country is white people that are racist they're able to operate in that that manner they operate the banks they operate the hospitals they operate think you cut the courts they operate the policing and the military they operate things like that in the institutions insurance you name it education you, so they control all that African Americans don't have that kind of power they have to be elected to even even if they have to be a president or something and say well and it basically is a deflection and just like Charles Barkley and Shaquille you're just a reflection but you have no have no power you may you may know somebody you may have a couple rub a couple of his but you still just a boy to them no matter how no matter how how you are you still just a boy even among them, them, them societies you're still a boy the white masons don't too much respect the black masons they only gonna let you get so much far but you have to really bend over and do some things for them and so that's the reason why we can't get ahead because some some when they get the power and they get up in that certain elite it's a fact and they think oh you know and, and they and they pretend, they, they pretend like they're your brother and they're your sister but they get it whatever that elite tell them to do they do what they they do and you can look at the history channel and talk about what what they are in judges juries they run companies they in government they're all around you and so they can control things they can write laws. They can make things in the constant and make up laws and black blacks don't have that. And no other race don't have that in this country. Never had had it. Even if they were put into uh put into position to be a, a representative of the district. They make sure they'll crash the dog on make, make and they then they, they elect a black person. That's what they do. Then it's, and then it's like you gotta go kissing and begging. And and then how to keep that black representative, you know, as long as they give, give make sure he make sure he they do what he says or she do it, whatever that black fellow or me female said, it's all good. Keep the rest of it. So naturally I think Charles Barkley and, and people like him think that that's okay. Or the talking points, so they don't mind just throwing the people under the table. But it's gonna come a time they'll get tired of you. The same people you try to throw your own people under the boat, but in the end they're gonna throw you up under the boat. That's a fact, because they use they use to steal, keep and, and deflect. They use a black person for certain things because they feel like they're trying to subconsciously clear their conscience because something's been exposed. And people have talked about stuff like this. What is it? Criminal justice system, racism. But it is not but reality, ladies and gentlemen, it's not gonna change. They don't want it to change. They're trying to throw throw some cat and the only reason why it's being exposed because they don't want it to get to a level where someone 
literally it looks like you know people literally had to shed more blood burn more businesses down just for them to kind of wake their eyes up or it is a, it's a segment that says we're gonna stop spending our dollar then it's like oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute, wait whoa we've been we, when you start spending your dollar and black people start uniting and saying no we're not gonna deal with your institutions no more let's build on wait wait, wait a minute that's is that segment wait a minute let's be rational well maybe i can give you a fund and, and and all of a sudden they want to pull out all these things ain't that something i mean you have the it took death some young innocent civilian to get caught on camera to go what now everybody want to chime on in but these same folks that want to chime on in 10 12 years ago before some of these people start getting brutally murdered in the streets when it was police, police brutality go way, way back, way back. If during my time, if during I was young, during I was a kid, growing up as a kid until young pre adult, to now, and before my time, before my mom's time, my grandma's time, it ain't nothing new. They just want don't want to go come go down. They don't want to be exposed. And we, and we can talk about it, but. And I and I feel like this racism is always going to be them kind of people who control the narrative, the the real racists, the the, the ones that deflect, and they could be ra racist, and they they could have people around them. Like Joe, and I hate to say it, to a certain degree, Joe Biden, and anybody said and they said well Donald Trump is racist, well Joe Biden just as racist as Donald Trump, but he's he's not the in. He's in, not your direct racism, but like Trump is, but he's, he, you know, he has, he has some policies that hurt the African American community and he never repented. He never said he was sorry. So he jumped behind Obama, the first black president and, 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 and get behind Kamala Harris, whatever, but he's still a racist. It's, it's no different than the founding fathers of some of these founding people that of this in early part of America. Something was racist as hell because they left slaves. And even though there were slaves were people who were in slavery sent declared that under the constitution <clears throat> eloquently they should be free. You have a white male, white males back then, thinking, no, you're very intelligent, but no we're not gonna change your mind. We're not gonna change your laws. We well we consider your letter but we don't it's nice, but it's when we we want to still play God over your life. We want we want to control, and it's that same spirit that we have to today. So long as you have the Joe Bidens, that Donald Trumps of the world, like the men of back in the seventeen hundreds, it's nothing new. It's all Shakespearean act. I'm a better. That's that's what we witnessing every decade, every century of our life in America. Is us all what we is, and we and then we got to jump on. Then, then I feel, why should I play this Democrat Republican thing when it's both been on both ends? They have screwed. And I'm, I'm gonna get some uh, water. Yeah, why should I play this Democrat when it doesn't matter? Both Joe Biden and Donald Trump have one time had influence. They they got they they finally sitting on wealth. They in a the position of white privilege, and it and they always had it. So naturally, how can they, how can they relate? And try to explain that to someone is to, about racism. They can't they can't phantom that. And, and see, they used to being around people. So, so they can pick out the so-called elite blacks that probably be in their category. They want to deal with regular blacks. This is another thing. But you get you, know, you get a few uppity Negroes like Barkley and them don't understand this. That because you part they want the elite blacks. And then you even know what they say behind your back when when you want the elite blacks. It's the truth. 
when you always have black people that got that kind of mindset. You know, and they don't mind throwing the regular black people who are a little, little bit below the income of 75000 down under the bus. It's a fact. And it's, it's always going to be a cause and deflect. That's all what it is. Don't be fooled by that. That's why people, what, what you think about what difference does it make? I'm to the point. Really, the only thing that should make a difference is your local election. But with that national election is a Shakespearean act. And, it, and it's, it, whatever, it probably before we even get to November, it's right in decision who already going to win. Because you got the electoral college votes. So I'm, well, well, I'm saying is, you know, getting back, I'm sorry to go off that far, but this is what the Charles Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal don't realize that. When, you, when you've been around folks and you've been at the table, you learn a lot. You see, you see what that lies. You see what they see. When you've been in a different atmosphere, you see what they see. They, they know how to put on the face. They know how to put on the show for you. See, some people are good at hiding. These people who have indirect racism, they're like the other ones that have the direct racism, but they, they're not going, the ones who have indirect racism, they really don't want to be exposed. And they're not usually someone being forthcoming. It, and I, I heard even a man, he's I kind of, he's I like a man like Donald Trump. I heard this from a nation of Islam leader. He said, you know why I like him? Because he don't beat around the bush. He just tell you, you know, you can see what, what kind of man he's coming from. Joe Biden, he's trying to make it like he's your friend. But really, if he gets the power, the whole, the whole commie, we don't know what's going to be like if he would take office. But you got your, but you think your black elites are going to think that they're going to ride the waves, but they're just using them for a certain amount of time. And you think that you're free because you, you, you got to a certain level, be a taskmaster over other black people. You really don't know history. You do not know time and history. They used black people before. And I, I and in the perfect movie I think about I think about the movie Glory. And I think about those men that were come off of slavery, they were black, and they they went to go fight in the um the for the, the Civil War, to be part of the blue coats, the the fight against the Confederates. And you always, and, and among a group of blacks, you always got that one black person to think that just because he's educated, he's going to be at a certain level because the rest of the black people don't know how to articulate skills, they know how to communicate. And maybe he thought that way, but at the end of the day, you're only going to go so far because they can tell you to get back in line with the other ones. That's the truth. Is is even you can see it on some news stations, like some of these CNN and different individuals. They'll have some black people as anchors, just for the cause. Then when it's an issue with the contract, they let them go. <laughs> they let them go. They use you for a certain amount of time. Again, because it's the latest thing. But once the racial thing die down, you just another Negro go. Your contract expired. That's the way to how the white man play games. He play the business. He try, he looks diversity, but he so he can gain some amount of revenue. up from from the black for audience, which make up. And this is how TV goes. So once that black, and they do it by racially, somehow they figure this out. I don't know how they, 
how many people of other different nationalities reach in. And once they once they done that, they kick them to the curb. So, with people like Charles Barkley and Shaquille Neal, just a matter of time, they're gonna kick you to the curb while you're kicking average black folks to the curb. They're going to kick you to the curb. Charles Barkley. And this probably white people that can't stand you right now. It's just a matter of time. You're going to say something. You're going to be out of that, 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 that sports job. You're going to say, wait a minute, Bob or Dan, we're sorry, Charles, we got to let you go. See, the same, the same, it was as the ultimate black folks have done, and try to be, be that, that, that so called conservative. You see what they did with Diamond and Silk, and as far as a Trump, and then they didn't even want Candace Owens because she had said some stupid stuff, and that's on the Republican side. And they only used, they only used them, they only used them because, like. Just to get a bit, they using you, and you fall for fall for it, being a so-called black, draw the black people my way. So once we get the black vote, I'm gonna kick you to the curb. So whether you're a black Democrat or a black Republican, it don't matter, because you you don't have the generational wealth like the Donald Trumps and Joe Bidens have. You don't have the white privilege like they do. You know, that's why I said, what difference does it make? And the only, and the people who really fun, who they're going to listen to is the people who got the money. People who can't, who, who spend hundreds and thousands and thousands of dollars on their campaign. And say, you listen, what we put you in there for. That's the way politics go. It's about the money, how much money we can raise up. You ain't got, if you ain't got the base that you got black people that's pulling their money together, they can't do, they ain't gonna hear your voice. If you don't have some kind of organization who can raise millions of dollars for, for, for they ain't gonna hear your voice. That's true politics. It don't matter how much a celebrity you are. They just gonna use that celebrity. They can you know I'll well, just use it because he's black. They think you're hot and you're a popular thing. That's all they're going to do is use you. So so you're just making a fool of yourself when you, you know, you're criticizing your own people. And you're putting your foot on your own people's neck. When black people do that, you're just putting your Because you're giving the people who are racist a deflection. People who are truly racist. And you don't even see it. And so it's worth selling your own out. Speaking against your own and hitting somebody when they're down. Because they look like you. Yeah. They're going to use you. Eventually they're going to get rid of you. So you keep on being a sellout. Being a personal errand boy. They're going to get tired of you. The, the white men going to get tired of you, Charles Barkley. Shaquille O'Neal, they might keep around. But you, they will eventually get rid of you. She can open up your mind. And I said, that's why I said, and even that, that, that knucklehead Candace Owens. <laughs> She's talking all the positive points. And the people after a while, after the right scene of the white people on the left, seeing how how foul she was, the white people on the right start seeing how foul she was. And Some of the things that she she could she couldn't keep, keep a proper filter on her mouth. They didn't want her at the Republican Party. And she had a white husband. You think you, you, some you some black folks they try to click in where they fit in they don't understand. 
you'll never be with them. They'll never accept you on the other side. You'll never look here. This is just to be honest. Just because I have, just because I have friends that are white. But there's a certain, there's a certain. You will learn this in time. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Because when I go home, and they go, and they go back to their neighborhoods. The, the Amer we live in two different Americas. That's a fact, and that's just the way it is. It's not that they, that, and then I know that they're not prejudiced, but there's a certain thing that, and and said thing, Barkley, you don't, you didn't think about this. They can't relate because they, they never encountered something like that. You live in this lolly dolly dog land until someone had to tell you directly. A, a white person had to tell you like a Richard Spencer directly what it's really about. And you still don't you still dumb enough not even figure that out. They tell you in your face we're about America, white America, white women. White ch children, the idea of blonde hair, br brunette, blue eyes, br green eyes, not your black ass. Excuse my language. You you just a, you just a scenery. Okay, that's what it's about. And you still trying? You don't fit in America. Whether it's on the right, whether it's on the left. You're not in part in the gene pool. Whether it's on the right, whether it's on the left. And you just want these Negroes that you just don't get it. And I feel, and, and, and I said, in a way, I kind of, because one of these days, you're going to get your reality check. You're going to get a reality check. And black people like you gonna get a reality check. When you say them ignorant things about someone like a Breonna or George Floyd, you gonna get a reality check. Then white people gonna give you a reality check. And I'm looking for it. And they, and they do. What is coming when they call you the N word? <laughs> they get to the point of the point. <laughs> and they say that wish puts that name of like a wish crab on you. You're just like, yeah. and put you right back in your place. Oh yeah, words are powerful. They ain't gonna let you know. You ain't equal to me. You'll never be equal to me. You don't have our power. You don't have our influence. I can get out of this shit with with a, with a police officer. You can't. You, you hear even some people saying, "Why do you ever go by the average citizen?" And, it, and, and the officer pull it over the person. I heard a couple people say, "You know, and one, group, one female said, why? Why are you doing this to me?" This when they know they got privilege, Charles. This when they know they got privilege. You can't see the damn difference. And anybody with common sense it, it, it know that. Even some white people that see the damn truth know that there's a damn d d difference. You the only, people like you, the only dumbasses that say, say some stuff like that. You'll never stop being a black man. Don't Like I will never stop being a black man. No matter how many people in, in the, what they call the Mayo Clinic, whatever they call it. Don't matter how many white people that like me, I'm still black. I mean, how I mean, I'm still black. I'm still friends with them. Cause at the end of the day, they ain't gotta go. They ain't gotta go through around me. Someone won't be able to spot what some of their friends see. Because the essence of of a black man shakes the psyche, and this is what you don't understand. People like y'all don't understand. 
You think just because you get out there in that community, you have no idea. And it was, a, and the reason why I could say it, because from experience, I've been in the only one in the room, and I see, not being a non-threatening person, not being so forthcoming, because I I try to. There's a time that I almost like I almost got it had it be like that slave mentality, and when you when you when they know you like that, them a person like that a person. They will let everything they know, they let it come on out. Them the kind of people, them, them indirect people, not the direct people who are white, the indirect people. And they'll let you, at some point, they're going to reveal themselves. <laughs> they're going to reveal themselves. <laughs> you just don't know. I've, Negroes like y'all. Uh, you just don't know. You live in a fantasy land. And you don't know what time it is. And you're going to kick your own people who are going to have as much advantage as you as majority of people that come from people that live in Brianna's neighborhood and Omar Aldridge's neighborhood and George Floyd neighborhood. And they don't have the opportunity like you do. And yet you figure you get to the top because of your fame and your money and you get your so little so girl friends representatives but in the end you're just another black man and they and then white people are gonna show you they're gonna show you some form of fashion as soon as you some 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 of you who are like you talk like that they kind of make you, they let you know you you still are a personal slave. You st we, st we still think that you're less intelligent. We still think you're a low hanging fruit because you're black. You come from the seat of a slave. It's not what sometimes what people say, it's what they display. Their racism. Because there's two types of racisms. It's that the ones that's direct and it's the ones that's indirect. Some people don't want to see black people get fully, equally justice. There's some people who don't want to see that. There's some black people, there's some people don't want to see evil because it's an ancient hatred towards us. It's an ancient despise towards us. It's an ancient, they're not human in, in our eyes really towards us. It's not what they say, it's what they display. It's what they taught. It's the environment. What they, and I've been in the environment. So I know from both, whether it's from the liberal to the conservative, I've been in their environment. I know. But you, you silly Negroes don't even know. And, it, and, I, and I laugh at some because I see some in the suburbs, and they get around, and it's hilarious with some of them. They think like they they're part of them till they get their wake up call. They look at you as another black person. Like, they'll pick up their dog on spirit. Like, Ew, another black person here. Like what the? Fuck? Oh, I know, I know this Negro didn't give me that that kind of look. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. He thinks he's better than you. He live out there in that, that suburb. But if I could take that same Negro and put him in another, go in another territory, cop pull, pull you over, white people call the police on you. Well, well I'm from, I'm from at that suburb. I don't believe this because I don't, I don't understand because I'm an entrepreneur and I make five, six figures. You're black. You dummy. The Karens don't care. The Kins don't care. Because they see you. Uh -uh. They don't know about you. They don't know if you're gay or you're straight. They don't care about that. They don't care if you're Republican or you're Democrat. You're upper class, you're lower class. They think black people, they think you still the doggone. You got some people that do. Get coming in nice, living in a three or four bedroom, they think you stole the damn house. You got some white people that, that ignorant. 
that's why you see them on on, on social on social media. Someone pop up pop up with some bull crap. Don't you understand? And it's and, and you can't get the, the the suburban Negro to see that. The rural Negro to see that. He just he just think because he he's, he's been in an atmosphere. And he been in, in that one little town, in that one little area. But he haven't ventured out and going to the other areas of his state. He ain't going to the next state over. Until you really see where they really look at you. Because you're comfortable in your own area. And, you, and no matter how good your English your grammar is, you're black. You just... It's an ancient despise, it's an ancient envy, it's an ancient spirit that black people are something unusual. And for you, and that's why I said, and it's sad you had Charles Barkley's of the world, Shaquille O'Neal's and the Candace Owens and many others that just don't understand. They're going to use you and they're going to dump you. And you're going to be an unemployed Negro whether you had a college degree or not. It don't matter. Because it, it's the old saying go, if a white person catch a cold, black people get the flu. If they are other way, they unemployed, you de unemployed. You double unemployed. That's America. I don't care how articulate you are, how, how good your skill is. And some people don't think you shouldn't get the job because you got favor. Because it, you, you, it's so-called privilege from an organization. They don't even know. They don't even know the half of it. So we're not spoiled. It was not meant for just to be blacks. It's meant to be for others. No matter the NAACP. No man is an ACLU. No man is an Urban League. They got to go for them. And take their, their part of the pie. Meanwhile, the, the straight blacks and straight women and children got to suffer. Whatever condition at the end. The majority is in, is in poverty. But I guess you would not pick up, but you, sometimes you got Negroes like Charles Burley seem to forget that. You just, you're just a piece of work, aren't you? Just with saying what you said about Breonna Taylor. That's 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 pitiful. That's that's a pitiful thing. Be pitiful. You just about pitiful that 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 AG attorney down there in Louisville. Be pitiful. Just plain pitiful. And they're going to use him up at some point. They're going to spit him to the side. They, that's what they do. In his racial climate, that's what they do. they masters at it. When they, things calm down, they let you go. You become their favorite Negro, then it's like, okay, we, we did use you up. Next one, please. <laughs> Just it's time for you to go. Have a good day. That's how the way it is. But but some of some of them Negroes that got that mindset, you gonna learn. Oh, you gonna learn. If you gonna learn, learn uh, somewhere along the line, while you laughing at your fellow brother and sister, and I said, you gonna learn. Oh, you gonna find out because you think you got it. You got it like that. You have no idea. You about to go to another level of racism, and they gonna make sure you you're not gonna get it. It don't matter even if you got the the, the degree. They gonna make even if you got the credit. They gonna find a way. Cause that white man will find a way. He will find a way to keep you out. He's he's good at what he do. He's good at being unequal. And, and he could hide it from even from some of his own. 
You will never know. You just don't know. You ain't been a part of that, that side of America. You ain't been you ain't been the one that just know how to stay silent. Let them think that you you kind of passive. The more they think that you passive, the more they reveal more themselves to you. Oh, I'm, what I'm telling is the truth. And it, and it, what I would say, the people, they gonna get their wake up call. Don't, don't be upset. They gonna, they gonna get this wake up call. I'm telling you. Then people that think that you, you, you're a little bit too much. We gonna, we gonna kind of gotta kick you out the club. Cause you tell them a little bit too much. That's how the way it is. That's what you. It don't play to be. Uh, I made a video. It don't play to be a sellout. Cause you gonna get yours in the end. Every sellout gets theirs, and they can't trust you. You think the same people that you didn't. You they use you as a deflector. They gonna trust you, and you turn against your own like that. You got that mouth? Mm -mm. So, I didn't mean to make this video this long, but it's the truth. He's going to get, that's why I said, he's going to get his, he's going to get his wake up call. Just like the other ones do. Because you think, you, they're only, they only going to smile at you for popularity, but let something go down. And something bad happened to you and some white woman, Charles Barkley, you do something disrespectful. And you'll find out real quick how 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 the white male really is. Because this woman I'm telling you. You're gonna find out real quick. And you buddy buddies. Ass over Jay Simpson. That's Michael Vick. Y'all don't know America. And white people, most well, some white people don't forgive. <laughs> they, make, they make it hard, boy. This is this is the real deal. So you some of some of them Negroes like them, they gonna find out. They're gonna find out. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, they're gonna find out. They're gonna find out, you know. So you just you can, you just tack your own and put your foot on your own. But in the end, the same people they they're gonna be laughing at you, laughing with you. Going next thing you know, you they'll set you up and they be laughing at you too. And then you gonna get into it with some person, then they turn around and sue you. That's why I said just watch. Just watch. So just, you know, you keep shitting on people who don't have, they don't have much that look like you. And you think because y'all out there in that suburb and that rural area around, around them people, you don't think it's going to happen. Ooh. When you live a long time and you experience some things. See, I wasn't just a person just raised in the city. I learned some things in the, the rural I learned some things in the suburb. And when you've been around people, when you've been around not just one, not just two, not just three, not just four, but a whole conjoncture of people, and when you step in a whole conjoncture of the, of the atmosphere, you people open up and they reveal who they really is. They will show you their nature. They will show you what their nature really is about. See, some people don't think about that because they haven't come across it. But all I gotta say is, they go, they, you gonna find out, ladies and gentlemen, the Barclays and the Shaquille O'Neal's, they gonna find out one day. They just use them for a certain amount of time. When they get, they gonna use them up just like they use Candace Owen and any of these other ones up. So-called black conservatives are trying to be and speak against their own people. Trust me. 
they go, they go say, good, good job. Now get out of here. <laughs> kick, kick, give you the boot and, that's, and you gone. I thought that was part of you. No. No. You're not part of us. You, you're supposed to amuse us. You're supposed to entertain us. You're not part of us. And that's from the right to the left. You might have it somewhere in between that. Don't look. Look at this. Look, it's, it's not like that. Very few is in between. But once it's from the right or from the left. So. <laughs> oh, boy. There'll be. So it, it's not a surprise. It's not a surprise at all that people turn, that you got some black folks that turn on each other. They get it. That if the grass is greener, run too much of mouth, think it's just the grass is greener. But what you're doing is, you, the, what's the, basically the common men, men, mental thing to do is that some people are like the devil. They instigate things. And then when they see that you destroy, then they destroy you in the end. Because you destroy that person. Character, whatever. However, you destroyed it. Sometimes, in some good times, good to zip your lips. Even if you're in the public eye, it's good to zip your lips. Just say, just have, keep it calm, and limited, and limited. I'm not sure about Sarah with, with the woman. Uh, that's what I see. Blah blah blah. That's it. But why would I throw have, throw a, a a person who's no matter if I had it says influence. Why would I throw someone like Miss Taylor, Breonna Taylor down like that? What good what gain what gain do I get from it? When when I I can relate because I come out of the community such as like that. And I and I'm a kind of person I don't forget where I came from. Because I at the end of the day, no matter how high I rise, they're gonna let you know. If you get to that level, they're gonna let you know. You ain't you 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 there, but you you are visible till we choose to make you visible. In mainstream America, that's the way it is. Till you're relevant, and they have to they have to take you in. If they see you, you you're a commodity as a black person. You're a commodity. You know, you're a commodity. You're an entertainment specimen. That's what you are, Charles. You and Shaquille. You just you good you good for you good Negroes, but you just that's what you are to the to them. That's what you are. No one can no one knows a, a, a property ain't supposed to have an opinion. Them kind of people like that. See, it's not what they say; is what, and they feel entitled to tell you that. They get to someone that look like them and speak of it of them. They'll let them go. They'll. They won't necessarily shut them up. They'll shut you up and penalize you. In front of them. So it's something to think about. I always say it's not, hey, we may come from different situations, but at the end of the day, reality, reality, America will always see color. America will always see perception, associations. That's what she do. Are people, whether they from the right, whether they from the left. It, the only thing if it's hot and it's visible, as soon as it dies down, most black people going back to being invisible. Just remember that. Remember, you hear, hear it from me, it's going to manifest. All right, then, you guys, have a good one. Till next time. 
Same zone.